my name is Sarah Carell and I'm a physical therapist here at Breakthrough PT in Sunnyvale and today I wanted to discuss with you plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is a common cause of heel pain and Ouch. it involves tensional overuse of a connective tissue band that connects your calcaneus or your heel bone to your toes. Thinking of this connective tissue as a string that supports the arch of your foot, as you go through walking, that arch can collapse and cause tensional forces on this connective tissue that cause small micro tears in the plantar fascia. These small micro tears can lead to irritation and inflammation in the foot. Symptoms include stabbing pain in the heel or the bottom of the foot that's often worse first thing in the morning with your first few steps out of bed that decreases throughout the day as you get warmed up. There's a few different exercises that you can perform at home that will decrease your symptoms and we're going to show some of those to you today. The first exercise is to take a small tennis ball or golf ball, place it on the plantar fascia and gently roll the ball from your heel to your toes. This can be performed as necessary throughout the day while seated at your desk at work. The second exercise involves stretching the muscles that are connected to the plantar fascia. The best way to do this is just with a wall calf stretch. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. You're just going to place the affected foot right behind you and lean into your left side just like this. So that right now we're stretching the gastrocnemius as well as the soleus that connects to your heel and into your plantar fascia. The third intervention that we can use in order to treat plantar fasciitis is myofascial decompression. So with this, what we're going to be doing is separating the tissue layers so that they can slide and glide past themselves better. I'm going to be placing several cups on his plantar fascia, the heel of his foot, his calcaneus, as well as the Achilles and the gastrocnemius soleus complex. You can see what we're doing is we're lifting the tissue layers. Uh, this one on the calcaneus is very important because like we said before, the plantar fascia of the foot comes up, connects to the heel, and then the gastrocnemius and soleus come through the Achilles and also connect to the heel. It's important to release the entire posterior chain because there, the symptoms could be coming from structures that are both proximal and distal to the area that needs to be treated. So once we have the cups placed, what we're going to do is go through passive ranges of motion with the patient. So we'll just be going into dorsiflexion and plantar flexion with the ankle. We'll do this about 15 times and following passive range of motion, we'll have the patient go through active ranges of motion of the same thing. So plantar, fl or plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. And they'll go through that about 15 times as well. If you're experiencing foot pain or heel pain and suspect that you have plantar fasciitis, you'd benefit greatly from coming into seeing one of our PTs here. Book an evaluation with us here at Breakthrough and return to the activities 